1. Roswell Roswell is considered the birthplace of wild speculation about flying saucers. In 1947, an unidentified flying object, UFO, reportedly crashed in Roswell, New Mexico. Local residents found debris nearby, and despite efforts by the nearby Roswell Army Airfield, RAOF, to investigate the wreckage, nothing definitive was found. In a less than credible statement, the RAOF declared that they had recovered the remains of a weather balloon that had crashed. UFO researchers have visited the site and have been studying the incident for years, and some of them remain convinced that the debris was not from a weather balloon, but possibly from an extraterrestrial spacecraft that accidentally crashed to Earth. Though there are still many unexplained aspects of the mysterious object, people are certain that it was not merely a weather balloon, and they believe that there is some sort of secret related to the event. Is it an alien spacecraft? A classified weapon mistakenly labeled as a UFO? Or is it genuinely just a weather balloon? To be honest, only the truth is known to a higher power, and one can only hope that if it is indeed true, extraterrestrial beings won't invade us, right? 2. Jack the Ripper Perhaps the most infamous serial killer of all time is Jack the Ripper the criminal who terrorized the streets of Whitechapel, the capital of London, in the 1890s. A total of 11 murders occurred, and all the crimes were attributed to Jack, although there is still ongoing debate about the true identity of the perpetrator, including the possibility that all the cases were actually the work of the same mastermind. All the victims were females, often prostitutes and many of them had their throats cut before being disemboweled. Over a century has passed, and if Jack were still alive, he would be very old and unable to harm us anymore. However, the rumors persist, serving as a reminder to those who venture out at night. Who knows if someone is lurking in the darkness waiting for you? 3. The Blue Mary the most famous haunted ship of all time first captured public imagination when it appeared in the story of the renowned writer Conan Doyle. Despite originating from imagination and being entirely fictional, people still believe in the mystery of the Blue Lamb Mary by reading the author's work. The ship was discovered in 1872 off the coast of Portugal, completely devoid of a captain or crew. No cargo was missing and there were no signs of struggle on board. So where did everyone go? The captain's wife and child were reported to have boarded the ship, but there was no trace of them on board. Since then, the ship was repaired and continued its journey, with other vessels avoiding it. Eventually, the ship sank off the coast of Haiti and was only rediscovered in 2001. 4. Mothman Throughout the 1960s, the town of Point Pleasant in West Virginia was repeatedly threatened by the appearance of Mothman the Enigma. It was a tall, humanoid creature with wings that dragged on the ground and was capable of flying. Its presence reached a peak during the Silver Bridge disaster in 1967, when a bridge carrying 37 vehicles collapsed completely, resulting in 46 fatalities. Some witnesses claim to have seen Mothman above the bridge at the time of the incident. Since then, the sightings of Mothman have declined. While many believe it to be a legendary creature, the increasing number of credible Mothman sightings has led others to believe it may be more than just a story. The authorities of Point Pleasant, in a rather peculiar move, decided to acknowledge Mothman's contributions to society by erecting a unique and shiny statue in its honor. 5. Overtune Bridge The seemingly harmless bridge located in Dumbarton, Scotland, is a magnet for those with suicidal intentions. Over 50 dogs have suddenly thrown themselves off the bridge to their deaths or serious injuries. Similarly, in another section of the bridge, under similar weather conditions, other breeds of dogs have also met their demise. 
In 1994, the bridge appeared in a horrifying story posted online. A local man named Kevin Moy allegedly took his child to the railing and threw the child into the deep gorge, continuously shouting, Demon child, devil spawn. Moy then jumped after his son but survived with serious injuries. Could the spirits of the dogs that jumped off the bridge have urged Moy to kill his own child? No one knows for sure the true origin of the story. 6. Who placed Bella in the Witch Elm? In 1941, a group of four boys discovered a young woman's skull inside a hollow Witch Elm tree. Along with it, a decomposed body, a ring, a pair of shoes, torn clothing, and a pile of human bones were found near the skull. While the mystery surrounding the identity of the unfortunate woman, known as Bella, remain unsolved, a series of graffiti drawings started appearing throughout Worcestershire with a bold and provocative message. Who put Bella in the Witch Elm? Authorities interpreted this as a sign that someone knew the entire story, but chose not to reveal all they knew, despite efforts to uncover the truth. To this day, the identity of Bella and her murderer remains a challenging enigma that continues to intrigue people. 7. The Green Children of Woolpit Associated with the eerie tale of the Green Children, Woolpit became a famous village in 12th century England. On a clear day, two children of unknown origin appeared in Woolpit with a strange and uncanny greenish-blue skin tone. Their skin was greener than the leaves of the greenest rushes, and they refused to eat anything except green beans. Moreover, they spoke in an unfamiliar and unintelligible language. Gradually they adapted to their new community, but sadly the boy, one of the two children, passed away not long after. The girl who remained tried to learn to eat other foods and her skin tone eventually became more similar to that of the locals. She explained, You are what you eat. She claimed they had come from the underground world of St. Martin's Land, but she couldn't explain how they ended up there. Fortunately, this event did not spark any further eerie trends, and the girl lived a happy life in the village until her death. 8. The Pollock Twins in 1957, two sisters, Joanna, 11, and Jacqueline Pollock, 6, tragically died in a motorcycle accident in Northumberland, England. A year after the incident, their mother gave birth to another pair of twins, Jennifer and Gillian. Notably, Jennifer had a birthmark identical to her deceased sister Jacqueline in the same location. The coincidences did not stop there. Before this, the twins insisted their parents return toys that had once belonged to their deceased older sisters. Despite never having seen or touched those toys, the twins also expressed a desire to visit a park they had never known about, which happened to be Joanna and Jacqueline's favorite place. A reputable psychologist at that time, Dr. Stevenson, studied the case of the two sisters and concluded that the twins might be the reincarnation of Joanna and Jacqueline. 9. The Ghost of Freddie Jackson This photograph was taken in 1919, featuring the presence of an RAF squadron and pilot Victor Goddard, who publicly revealed it in 1975. Nothing extraordinary would have been noted if he hadn't discovered the presence of a figure. Behind the fourth man from the left in the front row, whom he was certain was Freddie Jackson, an aircraft mechanic who had tragically died in a freak accident with a propeller two days before the photograph was taken. Goddard firmly believed that the entire squadron was present to confirm whether this was a sinister prank or the spirit of Jackson returning. Even more chilling, the day the photograph was taken coincided with Jackson's funeral. Jackson was a skilled individual and it seems unlikely that he would allow a corpse to be present in the photo with his fellow comrades. 10. The Tamashud Case Mystery A man was found dead on an Australian beach in 1948, but authorities couldn't identify him. He had no wallet, and all the labels on his clothing had been removed in a peculiar manner. 
The only thing found at the scene was a small piece of paper with the words Tamashud written in it, which means ended or finished in Persian. Investigators eventually discovered that these were Persian letters translated from the last page of the Rubaiyat, a collection of poems by Omar Khayyam. The book was found in an abandoned car not far from the victim, with the last few pages torn out and a cryptic code written inside it. To this day, this mystery remains unsolved. The police were baffled as they tried to handle this case. Who was he? Where did he come from? And what led to such enigmatic clues? <laughs>